anti-Shia rights watch organization has released its latest monthly report about the anti-Shia movements in different parts of the world. This report is complied by reports from human rights activists and foundations, and it contains the recent movements by terrorists and suppressive regimes against the Shia Muslims. This report enjoys verified documents, and it will be available to the public opinion, the media, and human rights foundations. Shia rights watch organization is supported by the Guanza Ayatollah Shumazi. Shia Rights Watch report regarding the month of April of the year 2016 was released a few days ago. The data for this report were gathered from a variety of sources. The most well-known incidents of anti-Shiism in this report were revealed to Shia Rights Watch organization by eyewitnesses. This report will analyze the data compiled on Shia death, injuries and arrests that occurred in the month of April 2016. In this month, the Shia Muslims were targeted in the following countries, Bahrain, Syria, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and Tunisia. Bahrain Bahrain International Exhibition promotes a book calling for prosecuting the Shias and killing them. The authorities in Bahrain allowed a book which calls for the prosecution and killing of the Shias to be issued by House of Bahrain Publications for a study and research. Moreover, in one of its chapters, the book calls the Shias who make up the majority of population in the country as infidels. The information book was displayed at the 17th Bahrain International Book Fair, which started on March 24th, and it will continue until April 3rd, 2016. Syria Ten people were reported dead and four injured by a terrorist attack with rocket-propelled grenades on the town of Kerfria and al fula in the countryside of northern Idlib. Civil sources from within the two towns reported that the tourists have imposed blockade on the two towns for more than two years and up to this very day. The sources said that the tourist attacks have led to the increase of the number of dead in the past two years. Moreover, tens of innocent civilians were reported dead and wounded in a tourist bombing at the Shrine of Lady Zainab district in the suburbs of Damascus, where the Shia pilgrims were reviving some religious rituals. Initial investigations revealed that a car bomb driven by a suicide bomber belonging to Daesh tourists blew himself off at a security checkpoint, which left dozens of civilians dead and wounded. Saudi Arabia Once again, the Saudi regime commits a number of provocative acts of sectarianism against the Shia Muslims in this country. Some of such acts include arresting the Shia leaders in the country, issuing death sentences for the Shia protesters, and suppressing demonstrations and protests. Iraq Iraq is still at the forefront of countries that violate the rights of Shia Muslims. It is reported that 377 citizens were killed in Iraq due to the acts of terrorism committed by Daesh terrorists this month. Such acts include shooting and executing of the civilians, bombing the roads and carrying out suicide operations. In the year 2015, Iraq had the highest mortality rates in the world. In this year, more than 5,000 people were killed and more than 5,000 others were injured in this country. Tunisia The sectarian remarks of the Tunisian officials against the Shias continue. In the previous days, one of the opposition officials made anti-Shia remarks on the media and called for prosecuting, punishing and exterminating the Shias in Tunisia. In his statements, he called the Shia Muslims the enemies of Islam and demanded the Tunisian politicians to deal with the Shias as soon as possible.